great yeah. writer. I, w- I had always been acting, you know, which you learned from a first interview. Right. That I'd done theater. So I always had an agent, even when I was doing stand-up. So my agent was always sending me out. And I really, uh, I'd done some small things. I'd done a couple of soap operas, a few lines here and there, and a few lines here, and then some small shows. But when I booked that first Seinfeld, it was the second season. And that opened the door to a lot of other casting agents. Because I didn't have anything better than the Seinfeld on the resume. And casting agents would say to me, well, you got Seinfeld on your resume, so you must be pretty good. So, <laughs> so I, was, well, I was, you know, I was getting, I, they were bringing me in for other things. And I was booking. So I always had yeah, uh, I mentioned solid agents. several that, of the uh, shows. I mean, getting ER and Friends and some of the biggest shows, West Some Wing. really good shows, yeah. yeah I now, built a really good resume early on. So. The uh, One of the things that's fascinating to me is that a lot of actors in L.A. have to wait tables, is like the famous thing, or bartend while they're waiting, doing auditions and waiting for gigs. You were actually making a living doing stand-up. Yeah. And then, and I know you raised two kids that way, not easy. Well, I was married at the time. Well, I'm, no, I'm just saying that, that... So, my wife was the breadwinner. Oh, okay. okay. That, that she helped. was making the most money, yeah. <laughs> so, definitely, yeah, during the uh, early years. But, but you didn't uh, have to do the waiting tables and bartending because you were no, going was, between auditions and, and comedy gigs. And